In today's video, we will be going over the 20 best military games on Roblox in 2024. There's certainly going to be at least one you will enjoy. Starting off, we got a game called Military Tycoon. This isn't the most realistic one on the list, but it sure is fun. As you can hear by the name, this is a tycoon, but it's one unique kind of tycoon since it receives updates very often. In this game, you build your own military base, you also upgrade vehicles, guns, and much more. It's honestly quite entertaining. So I suggest you give it a go. The next game on this list is a game called Mid Eastern Conflict Them. This is a game based around the conflict in the Middle East. It's not that realistic, but it sure is fun. In this game, you can spawn vehicles, place C4 on your vehicle, explode your vehicle, and shoot some people. And yeah, explode some more. No, but really, you should play it for a few minutes and see if you like it or not. By the way, the games are not listed in order, so some games on this list are generally great. Now, let's go back in time and leave the era of the 2000s well we will be coming back for some super realistic ones later on however the next thing we have on this list is called Sulu defense in Sulu defense you must defend your base against up to 20 waves of Sulu alongside teammates to survive you have to use an arsenal of weapons ranging from swords breech loading guns lever action guns and even gatling guns to combat the Sulu assault yes you heard me right this game includes a gatling gun one of the craziest guns in history <laughs> Um, no, but really, I really enjoyed this game, and you might find it enjoyable too, so why not check it out? Now on to the next game, we have something a little different. This game is called Tainin South Vietnam, and this is a military-based roleplay game in which you're able to play on the American side or the Viet Cong side during the Vietnam War. It's actually pretty fun to run around exploring the game, as well as having some fun roleplays. However, it's not your typical run-and-gun kind of game, because it's strictly roleplay only. But who knows, this game might be the one you enjoyed the most. Either way, there is another Vietnam-based military game on Roblox called Unit 1968, and it's made by the same developers who created Arsenal and counter blocks. I think this might be Roblox's most realistic Vietnam era based military game. However, they very rarely touch the game in terms of development, so it really hasn't been changed much over the past few years. Either way, it's a really great game, and I highly recommend you play it for some fun and intense moments. Now, another great game that has thousands of players is a game called Napoleonic Wars. In the year 1804, Napoleon, one of the greatest generals of all time, is proclaimed emperor of the French and begins a campaign of conquest in Europe, which changes the continent forever. Take part in cutting-edge battles of well over 3,000 players, join up this game for battles of a scale you have never before seen. This game sometimes has huge events, and a YouTuber who goes by the name of Plastic Scott regular, regularly, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that, uploads content on this game. He is an amazing YouTuber who even let me participate in one of these events, so please go check him out and share some love. The game feels insanely intense tense and it's almost impossible not dying at least once. Now the next game on this list is very fascinating and it's kind of unique perhaps. It's called Multi Crew Tank Combat 4 and it's kind of centered around vehicle combat. Now in here you can spawn in whichever military grade vehicle you want. You can have artillery, you can go with helicopters, you can go with tanks and all this kind of good stuff and it's honestly quite fun. However, if you want a more realistic vehicle warfare type of game, I recommend you check out Steel Titans B as it's basically the war thunder of roblox it's honestly very unique and has some great mechanics and realism put in place essentially one of my favorite military games on roblox and it's a game i could play for hours with seemingly no end now next on this list we got entrenched world war one beta this is another world war one based game and honestly this one is actually really fun you're actually able to put up reinforcements you're able to actually use your engineer class for something in game like bringing out ammo boxes and building different things which is really cool you also have a huge selection of guns you have a lot of different roles that are actually accurate to real life and there are multiple teams and i think that's pretty amazing now next we got frontline karelia and this is actually a game based during the winter war between finland and the soviet union or in better terms ussr now this is a game that is actually super intense because artillery lands everywhere around the map you will almost die immediately but it's also super realistic as you actually die by just one or two shot and seemingly if you aim for the head they will die immediately if you aim for the foot they won't die immediately and i think that's a quite awesome feature because not many games include it but it's 
extremely hardcore because you can get sniped from literally anywhere around the map and the guns are quite different to what you have probably seen before. Now next on this list we got Operation Overlord, a game set during D-Day. Now this is actually a super realistic looking game and I really love what it's about. You not only have a bunch of classes and game but you also have some amazing and fun matches because this game will really set you in the position of being a soldier during World War II and yet only this is the military game on Roblox that I've actually played the most because it's really amazing. Let me tell you that. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that so let's hop on to the Eastern War instead. Well I should be calling it the Eastern War 2.0 because there was a previous version of this but the Eastern War 2.0 is actually an amazing game set in the Eastern War as you can hear. The Middle East. In this game you can actually spawn vehicles, you have drones, you have actual stuff which they use in real combat today and I really think that's amazing because not many games include it and I really like the guns how the guns handle and the game they were pretty fun to use and mess around with and this might actually be one of the games that i've had the most fun on on roblox so therefore i think you should go check it out because it will be worth it now next on the list we got fire team now fire team is a game which has the most incredible aspects of any military simulator on roblox because they're actually focusing on realism now you won't notice this directly when you join in because the character models and the guns look kind of blocky but the game itself is actually based off of a game called squad and therefore the amount of realism they put in you must first of all walk miles upon miles before getting to the front line unless your team sets up a garrison or something further up from the spawn you must use teamwork because this game is incredibly hardcore it's recommended you do not walk alone because you will get killed really fast and there are a lot of tools to your disposal and you can really do some crazy things in the game and honestly it's a very cool one sadly they don't update it a lot but i highly recommend this one please go check it out now after fire team we get centuria i don't know if i pronounced that right but it's also a game set in the world war one era and this game was actually recently brought up to my face but when i loaded in i was immediately hooked because centuria is honestly such a cool game now sadly every time i ran two meters away from where i spawned two thousand artillery shells landed in my face i don't know if people control the artillery or not but you get blown up to a pieces every time you leave that dang spawn but i'm telling you if you want to have the most amazing current world war one experience then i think centuria is the game for you it has all the different classes it has cool teams it's actual base real battles and it's honestly so much fun because it's different to anything i've played before now next we got d-day now you can already hear by the name that we got another d-day based game right here but d-day is very different to operation overlord because d-day is the more roblox looking one and yes what i mean by that is that it isn't as realistic but D-Day has lots more features and lots more things to do than Operation Overlord. So therefore, it's actually quite enjoyable too. Not just that, but getting a kill in this game, it really feels amazing. I'm telling you. Let's get one and see for yourself. And the next game on this list is Black Hawk Rescue Mission 5. Now, this game is honestly superb. I have not seen so many people love a game more than this game. Because it seems like everyone who gets into it absolutely loves it. Now, this is... This is not your ordinary you know go out in a war kind of game this is actually a game which includes missions a bunch of different game modes vehicles upgrades guns customizable guns all this kind of amazing stuff that you would not really see that often in other games and when i'm looking back at it this might just be one of the most favoritable games i've ever seen when it comes to people who play it because holy heck if people comment about this game now enough with that the next game we got is day of infamy also d-day now i would say that day of infamy is kind of the competitor to operation overlord but i would say the day of infamy has more of that accurate depiction of what d-day looked like in terms of all the buildings etc that was placed on the map as well as everything in game now this is a game which i haven't played a lot but when i did play it i sure enjoyed it that's one thing for certain now please go check this out and tell me what you think because i myself i'm pretty sure you're gonna like this one now the next game on this list is trenches now trenches is a chaotic large scale 25 versus 25 people and it's a game based on the trenches in the first world war now in this game you fight in some of history's bloodiest and most fearsome battles you have 
mass scale combat with your friends, you can level up and unlock new weapons, and yes, there's lots of cool stuff with the game that you are gonna see. Now, trenches is kinda like entrenched a little bit, it has the same kind of mechanics, I would say, and surprisingly to me, it's actually a game which I can play for hours, and this can't be normal for me because I can't usually play games for hours just like that. But yes, it's a good game. Now, next on this list, we got Frontlines. Now, Frontlines is probably Roblox undefeatedly most realistic looking game so far. Well, it's kind of like Call of Duty, but the Roblox version. You've probably seen some of the big Call of Duty YouTubers and Battlefield YouTubers do videos on this game because it has even surprised them how a game can be like this on Roblox. But it sincerely got a lot of good feedback because of how realistic it looks compared to every other game on the platform. Now, you're gonna see when you load in what I mean, but the game might might not be completely applicable to everyone's device because it is kind of high-end i would say now next on this list we got state of anarchy now this is probably my favorite one on this list i would say this is the only game on this list that actually includes a little bit of horror too now the game does not include horror and horror but it does include scary moments when your enemies sneak up on you now this is not your ordinary fight in the trench kind of game right here this is actually a game which is set in the modern era but you walk around and you scavenge for guns kind of like escape from tarkov if you have ever heard of that game and when you collect your guns you upgrade your guns by finding suppressors and lights etc you actually have to drink and eat food to not die you must heal yourself if you get shot and all this kind of cool stuff and this game is actually very intense very fun and i do love it now next we got guts and black powder now guts and black powder is a game taking place during the napoleonic wars with the undead zombie masses rising from the ground and a group of survivors must hold like against the horde only armed with muskets and swords now you heard me right this is a zombie slash world war one type of game and honestly it's the only one of its kind i've never seen a world war one based game like this on roblox because it stands out a lot and actually has a different feel especially if you compare it to the other games on this list yeah go check it out if you like zombies and world war one because this is the game for you in that case and the next game i want to share is a game called bleeding blades alpha now bleeding blades is a multiplayer first and third person slasher which features many historical battles and characters the concept of the game is inspired by MNB, B and I, and the timeline is set between antiquity and medieval times, but with the exclusion of gunpowder based weaponry. Now I can name some of the battles that take place in this game, one being Battle of Terpoli, and another one being Siege of Orleans, then we also get Battle of Milvian Bridge, as well as Battle of the Hearings, and also Battle of Agin Court. If you've ever heard of one of these, then you might as well go check the game out. But god is this game crazy. You get killed so fast when you walk out in the war zone because it's extremely bloody this one. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Now the last game I want to share here is actually called Realistic War. Ironically enough, it's not super realistic, but it looks realistic, so to speak. Now Realistic War includes lots of fun combat, such as driving around in a Humvee, shooting with the 50 cal on top, killing your enemy, as well as just sitting, camping in a house, shooting at people through the window. But this game certainly is something it is fun it's more of like those hood games in which you just shoot the enemy with different kinds of weaponry it's not a type of military simulator really it's kind of unrealistic due to that but either way i really like this game i think those are the only games i'm gonna include in today's video but that should be more than enough but thank you so much for watching hope to see you in the next one as well have a great rest of your day bye